if I can make it up this. Hello, today is October 23rd, 2022, and tomorrow is a very exciting day because it is October 24th, 2022, and that is the day that I am going on my second solo camping trip, and I'm going to hopefully camp in the Redwood National Forest. Um, and spend some time there looking at the trees. I've been there before, it's an incredible place. Uh, if you haven't been there, you should go. And, uh, but one thing's for sure, I'll be headed back on the 101, headed up the coast through a little bit of California, but mostly the Oregon coast. Um, so I might spend a night on the coast, I might make the trip all the way back, I'm not sure yet, but we'll see how it goes, should be fun. Okay, it is Monday morning, October 24th, and my wife just left for work, and instead of going to work today, we're headed out. We're all packed up. When I say we, I mean me and the Norden. Uh, I've got my cooler packed, my TourTech hard cases are packed to the brim, and then I've got my giant loop Tillamook bag here. Uh, with my axe, some extra fuel, and my solar light out to charge. Um, it's a lot of stuff for a three night camping trip, but I like to be comfortable. So, here we go. I made it. I made it to uh, Kellogg, Oregon. And uh, right now I'm down at the Yellow Creek boat ramp. And uh, there's the river. I'll get a better view here in a second. But uh, man, just barely made it. I really had to uh, go. Thanks to Roto Rooter here. Really uh, helped me out. Uh, I was driving around looking for a place to camp and I found a campground randomly and they were pretty much empty so I decided just to pull over there and get a spot for the night it was fairly cheap not you know not ideal but spent $20 and I've got a nice fire pit with a grill grate on it a bench a picnic bench and uh, even a nice bathroom over there so I've got a tarp set up here to try and keep my stuff a little bit drier and then my tent and uh, right now I'm going to go try and do a little fishing and uh, then I'm going to make dinner. So after I set up camp I decided to come down to the river and do some fishing. So I just fished for about an hour and a half and I decided I haven't had a bite, let's just go for a walk. So I've been exploring and walking out here on these rocks, uh, came from that direction. And uh, all of a sudden I see this like big green thing. It's freaking alligator or crocodile. I don't know, it's one or the other, but. Alright, got a fire going. I uh, went around and gathered a pretty good amount of firewood. I'm hoping to get a big and hot enough fire that I can dry my gloves out at least. And um, just used the bio light and made uh, jalapeno poppers um, and three hot dogs. And I got some pickles there too. It was a little cold and rainy today, but first part of the day was pretty brutal. 
second part of the day was pretty fun and cheers to the first night okay I'm all packed up got a little bit of a late start this morning had a hard time getting out of bed oh everything is pretty wet the inside of my helmet is soaked so in the future I'm gonna have to figure out how to keep that dry I uh, wasn't really able to get anything very dry around the fire last night but uh, Oh well, here we are. That's, uh, that's how it goes. But uh, we're all packed up, headed out to Crescent City. And uh, you know it's not raining right now. Beautiful morning. So we're gonna keep moving along and uh, should be a beautiful day. Oh, nice. Killed it. Accidentally took it out of neutral all right here we go and let's check looks like I got everything rock and roll Get an out burger for lunch, baby. City. What a fun ride today it was. No rain and it's 61 degrees here which is 12 degrees warmer than where I came from. So my gloves are starting to dry out pretty well. My helmet's pretty dry. Here's the beach and the bike. Uh, the plan is to go fill up on gas there's this really cool ride through the Redwood Forest on a dirt road that I did a couple of years back and we thought the whole time it'd be fun to do on a motorcycle. So I'm gonna go try it. And then after that, we'll find a place to camp for the night. All right, here we go. This is what this whole trip was about, is coming and doing this. I mean, look at those trees. Oh. Just incredible. Yeah, speaking of motorcycles. Woo! finished that drive through the redwoods and right now I'm just exploring this road that I found it's like people use it to do a little off-roading I've already seen one tent in here look more like homeless people than campers but uh, we'll see I don't know it said no fires on the sign before we came in here so I probably won't stay in here tonight but drive around for a little bit and explore it. I mean there's lots of lots of signs of people that have had fires like right here. Someone had a fire right here. It's like semi recently. There's kind of river access right there. But 
I don't know. Might go back into town and stay at a friend's house. Hope I'm not breaking anything in my panniers right now. I do have a bottle of scotch and a couple of glass jars. Hopefully everything is okay. This is definitely bouncing it around. Stupid. Doesn't look that steep because GoPro doesn't really get the depth of things, so that's pretty steep. I'm gonna get this thing turned around. Oh, okay. That's the way I should have gone down, but I was feeling a little adventurous and thought I'd try this way. Bad idea. I got the bike turned around though. That is not easy to do fully loaded and by yourself. Uh, lesson learned, but I'm okay. Panier got dented a little bit on one side right there, but that's all right. That's what they're for. And uh, this actually didn't really go anywhere anyway, so altogether kind of a stupid decision, but whatever. That's why they call it adventuring. So I'm going to get back on the highway. <laughs> Well, good morning. We got some coffee going, and I just wanted to show my camp that I had last night. Um, so yeah, I've got a couple of tarps here tied off, one tied off to a tree, or two trees, then tied to the bike, and then staked to the ground here for drainage. And then I put the tent underneath, and um, just as I had planned, the tent is completely dry still. All right, well, camp is all packed up, got the bike all packed, and um, I'm gonna go this morning and take one more ride through the Redwoods because I'm here, and yesterday was really fun, and today the sun's shining, uh, everything's dry, I'm wearing one less layer than I was yesterday, so hopefully this nice weather keeps up. But here's the bike, got it all packed up again, ready to go I'm getting better every time I'm packing my stuff up it does take me a while I have to say but I'm getting better at it so here's to another day of fun safe riding rock and roll I mean these trees are just huge really just I doubt it captures how massive they are on this video but they're just incredible Oh, so glad this is still here. Absolutely incredible. Well, I'm about at the end of this trail and uh, I'm headed over to the 101 to start driving up the coast today. So, had to come and see it one more time. Just beautiful. Well, I just stopped real quick to take a leak and um, I'm here having my lunch because I'm stopped. I might as well have a snack. So I've got some bumblebee chicken salad that I just ate. Got my wasabi almonds and some Cheez-Its. So going to eat a little bit of food. I'm almost to Port Orford and uh, just crushing some miles today. It's been pretty fun. Been cruising right along. 
And um, yeah, we'll see how far I make it today. Well, here's to another good day of riding up the 101 along the Oregon coast. Packed up, dried out, washed up, feeling good. Rock and roll. So this is next to where I stayed last night. The river that runs into the ocean, some sand dunes. Pretty cool. Be a fun place to ride ATVs out on those sand dunes. I woke up this morning with a craving for a Burger King sausage and egg and cheese for sandwich. Good way to start the day. I've done it. I'm just about home, about an hour away. Made it to Tillamook. And uh, man, it's just a beautiful drive today on the 101. No rain, sunshine. It's about uh, 56 degrees. It was 61 there for a while. But I pulled off here mainly because I have to go pee. But uh, there's a beautiful river. Come on, this is the uh, Wilson River believe this is the Wilson River and uh, I was able to do a little water crossing there but here's the Norden in all of its glory just right next to the river had to take a shot of this because it's just beautiful someone's been having some fun out here <laughs> all right time to go home Oh, hey Daisy. Yeah, daddy's home. Daddy's home. 